from the beginning, all of our efforts with Mr. Chen have been guided by his choices and our values. But let me also add, this is not just about uh, well-known activists. Uh, it's about uh, the human rights and aspirations of more than a billion people here in China and billions more around the world. And it's about the future of this great nation and uh, all nations. Welcome to Opinion Journal Live. I'm Dan Henninger. Well, that was Secretary of State Hillary Clinton this morning talking about the ongoing negotiations between the Chinese government and the blind dissident Chen uh, Guangcheng. Uh, I'm here to talk about this with uh, editorial board member Mary Kissel, who I should note, uh, Mary was uh, the journal's uh, Asian editorial page editor for several years and uh, is a longtime China watcher. Uh, Mary, what do you think of that statement? <laughs> well, I think you have to break that statement into the two parts. The first part where Mrs. Clinton says, Mr. We've, all of our efforts with Mr. Chen have been guided by his choices and our values. As I've said before, Dan, that's either a naive statement. The State Department should have known that they couldn't release Mr. Chen into Chinese Public Security Bureau care. And, and somehow monitor him afterwards, or it was a craven statement, uh, you know, sort of uh, a, a CYA exercise, uh, because the State Department doesn't want to acknowledge that they kicked him out of the embassy too soon, just so that Mrs. Clinton and Mr. Geithner could have trouble-free press conferences with the party leadership. Now, on the second half of that statement, where Mrs. Clinton says, we stand for human rights, she says, it's, it's about human rights and the aspirations of more than a billion people here in China and around the world. Well, let's roll the tape on that one. February 2009, Hillary Clinton says human rights can't interfere in China with cooperation on things like climate change. June 2009, Nancy Pelosi tells me in Hong Kong that she can't speak publicly about human rights because now she's the head of Congress and she, she can only speak as a private individual. October 2009, the president declines to meet with the Dalai Lama in advance of Hu Jintao's visit and on and on and on. No. This is a consistent theme. So. I, I'm sorry, but I just can't take the second half of that statement very seriously. Well, yeah, that's, those are good points. How exactly are we supposed to take it, Mary? You know, it's interesting to me this issue of human rights was elevated during the administration of President Jimmy Carter. And it was eventually, it was pushed at that point by liberals who embraced the idea of human rights. It was a big deal during the Cold War, during the Reagan presidency. And now we seem to have come full circle where it is the liberals, for some reason, who are stiff-arming this whole idea. How do you explain that, do you think? Well, the, the, the liberals have a hard time explaining it. They, they basically can. I don't know if you recall President Clinton and the flap over China's membership in the WTO. Human rights were a big part of that. And as you say, I mean, it's effectively been a bipartisan thing. Uh, George W. Bush Sr. Had a, had a long history in China, knew it very well, uh, stood up for the Tiananmen Square dissonance. George W. Bush uh, brought in uh, House church leaders into the White House right. uh, in, in, in full view of, of the press, didn't even hide it, uh, to send a statement to China. Uh, so I think, look, the reactions that you've seen from the local Chinese dissident community within China has been one of great shock and dismay, and for very good reason, because they understand that the signal this White House has been sending out has not been changed by statements like the one that we just heard from Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. Well, I think one of the things you're saying here, Mary, we've got about a minute left, is that um, it is impossible for any administration to separate out this from the other things on their agenda, not in the media world we live in. This story has been in front of people all week long. You cannot hide from things like this blind dissident. No, you can't. And as Human Rights Watch uh, Global Initiatives Director Minky Warden uh, uh, told me earlier this week, human rights touches every aspect of Chinese society. And as a diplomat in China once told me, how can we trust uh, that we can do deals with China on a political level or an economic level if the Chinese government can't even trust its own people? Yeah.